going to show you a slideshow of the sum of the 2,000 pieces that are in the Art Barnes collection. And um, I just wanted to make you aware that we have a lot of paintings, a lot of Jan Sullivan's paintings, probably over 500 of hers. And we have a lot of other paintings. So we'll get a little glimpse of some of the collection and what we have done with it um, if we, as we go through these slides. Maybe Bob, you could go for, there we go. Our founder, Jen, was really, really a passionate about art and she welcomed everyone to the art barn, to come to the art barn, to be creative, and we still do that. The art barn really is a place to explore and to learn and to play in art. And it doesn't make any difference how good of an artist you are. As you found out today, you can come and do just about anything. All kinds of different kinds of art. In the four, last four years, we have taken the art collection that Jan collected, over 2,000 paintings, and organized it. So now we can find the pieces that we have. And I wanna show you some of those as we go through this. But we've got everything organized, it's very findable. It's all in a spreadsheet and a database. We've put inventory numbers on them, so that will help us locate the paintings by type, by artist name, by the size and the theme of the painting. We have classic florals like Jan, lots and lots of paintings by Jan Sullivan. And these, she really loved painting flowers in very diverse media. Watercolor oil primarily, but she worked in other media. Some of her watercolors and pencil drawings. And over the years, we she sponsored many, many international artists to come in, famous artists to come in and do various workshops and classes, which encourage students to try new methods. Jan herself always got involved in those workshops. And as Amy explained earlier, we're still having workshops for students to come in. In addition, in the collection, we have a lot of works by Chan's friends, other teachers, students, quite a diverse group of artists, as you can see. And we're just gonna go through some of those slides now and give you a chance to look at some of the work in the Art Barn collection. Dave Sander and Conrad Gestell conducted classes and they painted in the open studio. Open studios that we have once, now twice a week. So people can come in and paint collaboratively together. And Jean Head still does. She's there just about every Tuesday. And over the years, Mary Mitten, recorded events at the art barn. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us to be able to do that. But Jan did all kinds of things at the art barn. She brought in Native Americans. She brought in reenactments of Civil War. And she and her friend Marlise painted and taught together for years. They also went to Mexico just about every winter. Jan collected artists' work from Mexico and brought it back. This is Efren Gonzalez, who lives in Ahig. And as you can see, we have quite a variety in the collection.
Some of these are local artists. Some of these live in other states and other countries. We are starting to sell some of the collection so we can help continue doing the work of the art barn. So if you wish to purchase a paintings from the collection, there are several ways you can do that. You can come and see the ones that are on for sale on display in our conference room and on our website. We also have art for sale temporarily displayed for various events like the Christmas or holiday show. And in the future, we're going to plan on holding special sales as a fundraising events. And we will announce these on Facebook and on our website. So stay in touch. <laughs>